morning and welcome. We are doing UHV3. And in UHV3, we are on the practice sessions. We did exercise one, observing the self by the self. And now we are doing exercise two, observing the self and the body and the world outside by the self. So we are on step five. And just to quickly recap, step one, we saw that there are two realities. When I think of myself as a human being, I can see that there are two realities involved here. One is the self, and I can see myself because I can see the activities going on within me. I can also see that the body is there because I read so many sensations from the body to the sense organs. So I can see that these two realities are there. In step two, we tried to see how the interaction is between these two realities. And we said that this interaction is only in the form of information. Nothing physical is being transferred between the self and the body. I give some instruction to the body, the body follows. This instruction is information. I read some sensation, many sensations are going on in the body. I read some sensation from the body. This is also information. So everything that is, this interaction that is happening between the self and the body, it is in the form of information. In step three, we were asking the question about who is the decision maker in all of this interaction? Who decides? And it is clear that I decide what instruction to give, when to give. Similarly, there are many sensations, many processes going on in the body, therefore many sensations. But I choose to read only those sensations that I think are important for me. So I am basically deciding what instruction to give, what sensation to read. So I am the seer, I am the doer, I am the experiencer. And I am using the body as and when I need to. Then in step four, we were trying to observe that there is a distance between the self and the body. They are not connected. There is no hardbound physical connection. So, when I observe any sensation that is taking place within the body, then I ask myself, am I that sensation? And I say, no, I am not that sensation. I am reading that sensation, but I am not that sensation. Am I in the sensation? I can't be in the sensation also, otherwise how am I able to read it so easily? So there is a distance between that sensation and me. Or in other words, there is a distance between the cell and the body. Now, in light of this, we further look at what happens when we read the sensations. So we said in step five that there are three sources of sensation. One is when I am interacting with another human being. So the effect of the behavior of the other human being reaches my body and leads to some sensation there. For instance, the person says something, the sound of the words reaches my, you know, the body's ears, or we call it my ears, but and 
so there is some sensation in the body that can be one source another source can be that there is no other person involved in the outside but there is some change in the weather or there is some physical facility there is some food or something now i read the sensation because there is some impact of that on the body so if it's hot weather there is some impact on the skin i read that sensation no and then i decide what to do with it so this can be another source of sensation in the body a third source can be where we are not talking about interacting with somebody else outside nor are we looking at things outside the body but within the body there are some events happening the blood is being circulated the heart is pumping and so on digestion is happening so due to that there are some sensations in the body this can be the third source now important thing to see here is that none of these sensations is reaching me directly i am reading them i am deciding choosing to read as and when i think it is important to read them and i read them if i don't consider a sensation important i may not be aware of it also but it is there i may not read it so i am not aware of it so now when when i read these sensations if it is the behavior of the other human being when i see how the person is behaving i am giving some meaning to that behavior so if the person talks loudly to me i say he is talking rudely so i have attached this meaning that this is rude behavior actually if you see that effect of that the words reaches the ears and for me i may interpret it like this another person who is standing there may not interpret it the same way the sound of the words is reaching the other person's ears also it's having the effect on the other person's body that person is also reading the sensation i am also reading the sensation on my body i am giving this meaning to the sensation that this behavior is rude i consider it rude the other person is not giving this meaning the other person is saying okay that's how he speaks i think now you will notice that this meaning that we are giving to the sensation that we are reading this depends on our own sanskar on our own preconditionings whatever we have accepted to be true accepted to be real without really knowing but it can be based on knowing ultimately we want to do that but as of now it may be an assumption without knowing and so we strongly believe that to be true therefore our feeling is derived from that and that is the cause of our happiness or unhappiness similarly if there is a physiochemical event outside like we said it has some effect on the body there is some sensation i taste it and i give meaning to that sensation along with my sanskar 
and we took many examples of this yesterday many of you also described many situations the third thing it could be an event in the body a pain in the head the heart beating fast the effect of or the sensation of the blood pumping being pumped can feel the circulation that can lead to some sensation and i read that sensation and i give meaning to the sensation according to my own assumptions and based on that i go through this process which we are seeing on the slide that there is some event outside there is behavior of the other human being or the physiochemical change we were talking about that is outside the body now it has some impact on the body leads to some sensation in the body i am reading that sensation i am choosing to read that sensation i am choosing to taste that sensation then i am giving some meaning to it based on my own preconditionings my own sanskars and it is my choice to be influenced by this sensation that i am reading or not to be influenced by it based on my sanskar i am choosing deciding my feeling it may or may not be in line with the natural acceptance so if it is in line with the natural acceptance i feel happy if it is not in line i feel unhappy accordingly i am reacting or responding within so if my assumptions are based on some preconditioning without knowing i may be reacting if it is in line you know if what is happening and what i believe is in line with the natural acceptance i may respond but if not i may react so it is not clear what i will do if i just believe in some preconditioning on the other hand if my sanskars are based on knowing on understanding then i will respond to the situation because with understanding i will have ensured the right feeling within myself so the sanskar is based on knowing i have understood i have seen the reality and therefore my sanskar is based on that so now i respond to the situation i have the right feeling within me and then i have further choice of whether i decide to express it outside or not to express it outside in some cases i decide to express it outside then i instruct the body and of course the body acts according to my instruction leading to the expression outside this we saw yesterday and in continuation of this the next slide where we are talking about the pain you know there is about the sensation in the body event within the body that chart is also there oh this was with that with that one only sorry so when there is some event within the body that also leads to a sensation and i choose to read taste that sensation give meaning to that sensation according to my sanskar and same way i am either influenced or not influenced i am choosing deciding my feeling and then with that feeling depending on what kind of feeling i choose to have i feel happy or unhappy 
and I react or respond. And then there is the expression outside. So you can see within the self how much choice I have, where all I am choosing this. But when I am not aware, I don't see this. And I think that the situation outside, the other person's behavior, all this is responsible for my unhappiness. But here you can see it is the meaning that I give to it that is deciding for me what kind of feeling to have at that time. So this we tried to observe yesterday. We had taken an assignment in which we were trying to observe any sensation in the body. All day yesterday we had to observe any sensation in the body. See that you are choosing to read and taste the sensation. Then also see that you are attaching some meaning to that sensation. And try to check if that meaning that you are attaching to the sensation, is it based on understanding or an assumption that is lacking understanding? Are you getting influenced by the sensation you are reading or not influenced? What feeling do you ultimately choose to have? And are you happy or unhappy with this feeling? Are you responding or reacting within? And then outside, did you give instruction to the body or not? So many questions, but essentially the same process you go through when you try to observe the sensation. So if any of us could do this exercise and would like to share their experiences, we can discuss them. Or if there is any question in all of this, any doubt about how to go about this, then also we can discuss. See, the more we do this exploration within us, the more useful it will be. Otherwise, it is just a bunch of words and it doesn't help that much. Uh, Ma'am, uh, this is the sensation it occurs in the body. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the that is the left shoulder it caused a pain uh, okay. yesterday in the evening around 7.30 okay. uh, this kind of pain was uh, coming in the last year also and before last year also like two to three times um, by the time I, uh, I went through that uh, ECG uh, because I have a doubt something is happened to my heart like that so uh, yesterday also the same way it happened like a 10 to 15 minutes um, uh, I thought that uh, uh, it it may be muscle pain only I should not give the meaning like that but next moment I uh, the thought will be going on I have to go at least once and check so this is how the both the way I am thinking now. Mm -hmm. So you can see the uh, meaning you have that makes you uh, mm -hmm. have, what kind of feeling were you having? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, the first I, I uh, first thought it comes. So yeah, yeah. last previous time uh, doctor told that it is a muscle pain. No need to worry. Like. So I should not. But in the next moment only, uh, I feel that uh, by the time I feel unhappy, why it is happening repeatedly like that, ma'am? When I give the meaning that it is something happened to me, uh, yeah, definitely I feel unhappy, ma'am. I am uncomfortable. But after like 10 to 12 minutes, it gone, no? then I feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I... I uh, observe thoroughly th throughout the night uh, about this ma'am. Yeah. So you notice when you are saying something happened to me. Yeah ma'am. Okay. So this meaning that we have given that it is happening mm. to me. We don't say the body. We say it is happening to me. 
Mm-hmm. So we are not seeing ourselves different from the body. Difference, yeah, 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 ma'am. So therefore, the meaning that we are giving is also very different. It very is different, our, yeah. Ah, uh, it is our sanskar. It is our strong preconditioning. Maybe mm. that I am the body. No, mm. even though we have all the mm. influence mm. in living. popping up and this will happen not just mm. for you it happens for many people mm. because yeah. when it comes to the body mm. a lot of times even though we have all this information and self and the body is different but mm. when we are not aware and we are not paying attention no we will again slip into that i am body mm. so something happens to the body i get worried it's happening to me and mm. now i will not be there something bad is terrible is going to happen but then when i am reassured that everything is fine it is only muscle pain now my uh, the meaning that i am giving to that sensation is very different Yeah, no? yeah, it doesn't need yeah. to bother me as much. And once you mm. do that, you may notice that sometimes you are not even noticing the pain. Once you mm. able to see that this is not related to the heart or something like that, mm. we have given such meanings to it. Mm. Therefore, we have to, uh, you know. Look at it very closely. Mm. Try to observe these sensations very closely and see what kind of meaning we are giving. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Uh, yesterday, uh, I could observe Didi. Uh, I had a headache when I returned in the evening, and uh, I wanted to uh, read something, so, but I was not able to read because of the headache. so so baba i was very disturbed about the headache thing it is happening for the past 2 3 days so i thought okay let us let me just not read the read anything and i can do anything else also so i started you know making changes in the things in my house around moving things here and there and after some time i realized that i forgot that i have headache <laughs> Yes. Then I, because I was observing that okay, I am having headache. So if I change, I I want to read something, but because of the headache, I am not able to read something. Then I change to doing something else. That okay, let's not read something. Let me just change things. And after some time, I realized that I am no longer you know in that discomfort of headache. Mm. Nice. So this I could observe yesterday that if you we change the attention. then we do not feel that we do not feel or we don't read that sensation yeah, at all we are not reading yes i am not reading because so while yeah. if i am reading something then the whole attention is you know on the headache only but when mm-hmm. i am doing other things then yet i am not reading yeah this is true i am not reading it i am not reading that it is there mm-hmm. nice so i have that choice yes yes didi I yeah, have that right. It is. No. Nah, yeah. Yes. Like, there is no physical connection. Otherwise, I may not have been able to do that. But I can do it. I can yes. choose to read or not to read that sensation whenever I want. Yes. Yes. Right. Nice. Sometimes I I don't know. I will observe it also that sometimes if the pain is intense, then I don't know will whether I will be able to. do it or not but yes yeah. the mild pain in case of mild pain i am able to ignore it ignoring it is one thing not reading it at all is okay. another thing, isn't it ignoring might be that i read the sensation and i think okay it's all right how long will it stay and i carry on So, so in my case, am I ignoring it or I am not feeling it? 
you have to tell me okay i was not feeling it actually that's what you, you didn't read that sensation because you were busy the mind was preoccupied with other things you didn't pay attention to this sensation in the body which was disturbing you a little while earlier isn't it yes yes didi so you can see that it is your choice to read or not to read yeah yeah nice thank you thank you didi okay good morning didi i uh, i observed two things one is with the other person and um, like it was my senior and I, uh, always uh, uh, you know angry and shouting so i could see my incompetence of you know that was affecting me uh, that sensation was affecting me so i could see uh, uh, find my incompetence on incompetence there you know to understand or to be in the relationship with the other person but okay that was there so i was not feeling good or i i was not having good feeling towards that person and yesterday uh, the same person was uh, sharing uh, her experiences with me you know about her past experience how you know so i was able to understand how disturbed she is from inside and that was the cause of her you know uh, outburst or that so that when i could understand that then my feeling was getting better towards her or you know i was actually able to see that i was able to relate so that difference i could see nice so that yeah. way uh, uh, that feeling got changed in me and uh, secondly about the uh, sensation from the body there was a pain in the ear and Uh, like since i was uh, aware of this uh, uh, i was i have attended and i was aware of this so i observed okay this pain is there so when there was a detachment i could feel uh, like you know that was not bothering me i was okay with that okay yes it What is my detachment detachment in the sense like when there is a pain uh, earlier i we when i used to get disturbed or okay this pain and uh, like you know disturbed and thinking about that and all but when i observed here okay there is a pain i could sense it so there was i was not involved in i am not that pain or i am not that sensation yes. uh, that yes. is what i was saying yes. so there was a i was comfortable it's okay it's there i was able to sense but i was not disturbed Mm-hmm. nice yeah th- that's see, all even in the first example what you said the other person was angry yeah now that also is if you see these are meanings that we are giving mm mm-hmm. yeah. earlier you gave the meaning that person is angry and mm-hmm. shouting yeah later you gave the meaning that person is disturbed mm mm-hmm. the difference it has led to in the feeling that you have and yeah. with that feeling your comfort level or discomfort no Can yeah see? yeah nice thank nice. you thank you okay one more observation we'll take then we'll go a little further yeah yesterday i was trying to observe my thoughts and uh, uh, throughout the day and i one thing i noticed that was uh, whenever i got some un, uh, some unpleasant thought the the kind of uh, how it was i was trying to see about uh, what uh, how it was uh, you know uh, showing effect on my body i i could sense that there's some some kind of discomfort somewhere in the body and uh, it happened several times i was feeling a little you know some some kind of discomfort that i i don't think i can explain but it was not a pleasant feeling pleasant you know kind of a sensation in the body and uh, at times when i have when you say it was not a pleasant sensation in the body what does that mean uh, uh, basically i was not comfortable physically you were not comfortable Yes, I mean, uh, my body in my bo- my body wasn't comfortable. 
to watch like try to observe this okay you were not comfortable or the body was not comfortable ha huh. yeah i know i'll try and observe that further yeah yeah body doesn't have a problem the body has some sensation hmm i'm giving the meaning that this is unpleasant this is pleasant hmm isn't it correct to look at the food that you eat hmm? yeah like do you like sweets yes so when you eat something with a sweet taste you may like it and mm-hmm. you may say it's a nice tasty food somebody else who likes salty food doesn't like sweet food they will say what is this is not worth eating you give me something nice and salty you see how we are giving some meaning whatever Good. we whatever we dislike we give some meaning to it so similarly sensation in the body you are calling it pleasant or unpleasant that sensation in the body the taste sensation depending on my interpretation of that taste hmm i say that it's a good thing or it's a bad thing we i keep these labels pleasant unpleasant what is pleasant for me may be very unpleasant for somebody else isn't it based on whatever meaning i am giving to it correct is it really body is comfortable or i am comfortable hmm yeah. you are sitting in one posture you feel some discomfort so you change the position of the body you are giving the instruction to the body to change the position isn't it try to put it yeah, yeah i'll observe that further <laughs> thank you okay um so we'll go little bit further if we can go to the next slide yeah so you will notice that we constantly keep giving meaning to whatever sensations we are reading first and foremost you know reading or not reading the sensation that is my decision it depends on whatever i consider important so my sanskar is playing a very big role in that also no i may notice some things somebody else may notice very different things my sanskar is playing a role there so first and foremost whether i read the sensation or i don't read the sensation that is my choice hmm so supposing i am walking and on the ground i notice um say some money lying there a coin or maybe a note or something say a 500 rupee note i may notice it immediately if it is a small child the child may not even notice that may notice something else may notice the flowers or you know something on the mud or some other thing may not notice this so you will notice whatever is important to me i pay attention to that and i read that sensation many sensations may be there but i read whatever is important to me then i give some meaning to that sensation this also depends on my sanskar isn't it depending on what i think about it depending on what my preconditioning is what i believe about it i give some meaning now based on this meaning that i give to the sensation again it is my choice either i get influenced by it or not this also depends on my sanskar 
So I am deciding my feeling according to this. Isn't it? So, so much is happening within and it is all depending on my sanskar. So, it is important for me to observe my sanskar. What sanskar is leading to this? Is it significant for me? You know? And if I focus on the natural acceptance, I start moving towards trying to access the higher activities, trying to get to completeness of right understanding, all of that through working with the natural acceptance. In that process, in a very natural unfolding, I am able to observe my sanskars. Initially, I may observe some of the very gross or the superficial or you can say the on the surface kind of sanskars. And then as I keep observing, my competence grows and I may be able to observe the deeper, more subtle sanskars also. And I will notice this, that if my sanskar is based on understanding, I have the right feeling, the natural feeling, based on right understanding. So I am happy, I am in a state of happiness. And when I am in a state of happiness, whatever input is coming, whatever sensation I am reading, I rightly evaluate it and I respond. However, if my sanskar is based on some assumption in the lack of understanding, then it's not clear what my feeling will be. It's not definite. It will depend on what exactly I have assumed. I may correctly evaluate the input if the sanskar is in line with understanding. Or I may become excited and I may react if that sanskar is not in line with my natural acceptance. So then I will be unhappy. So therefore you can see that there is a need for me to observe my sanskar. To check is my sanskar based on understanding or is it based on some assumption in the lack of understanding. And we can do this easily when we refer to our natural acceptance. So, um, shall we try to observe this for about 10 minutes now? This slide, we'll try to observe that when we are reading any sensation, try to see these different points that I am choosing whether to read or not to read. That is also my choice. Then the kind of meaning that I am giving that is dependent on my sanskar, what I believe to be true. Then whether I am getting influenced or not, that also depends on whatever meaning I have given to it. So, if we can try to observe this, then we'll take your observations. For 10 minutes, we'll do this exercise. Um, I'll mute myself here for 10 minutes, then we'll come back to your observations. Yes, nice. So, we have been observing this for about 10 minutes now. Um, if anybody would like to share their observations. Or if there are any questions regarding uh, this slide or whatever we have discussed so far, we can take that also. Yeah, Didi, I was <clears throat> trying to observe and uh, as, as such, I could not feel any sensation today. But then later on, I was feeling sleepy. So I was just wondering, is the self feeling sleepy or the body? What do you think? 
uh i think self mm-hmm. i am not sure see the body needs some rest mm. and if you have slept then the body should be rested Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when it comes to the self now it depends on my state if i have many conflicting thoughts and i feel very disturbed sometimes i don't want to face all those conflicting thoughts so i am i take refuge like an escape route that okay i'll try to sleep so that i don't have to face all these disturbing thoughts disturbing contradictions within sometimes it may be that uh, i am unable to do the exploration so i give up and it's not important to me i fall asleep you'll notice this that when somebody is talking about say a topic that it is that is very interesting for you you will be listening very intently but supposing you know say your spouse or somebody else is talking about something related to their work which you don't understand anything about you right. might you know what we call bored we get bored and we feel sleepy because now you don't pay attention to this either you are lost in your own thoughts or you are just drifting into sleeping even for sometimes when we say to you know pay attention to what is going on within some people say they feel sleepy some people say they get a headache you know so it depends mm-hmm. on how i am approaching it what i am doing with it so if suppose for me if i am trying to explore and i say that okay now i need to pay attention pay attention and i am very sort of um i'm trying to focus somewhere you know maybe between the eyebrows or somewhere based on whatever my preconditioning is whatever i understand as paying attention then i may actually get a headache isn't it hmm. so like that you will notice that many things are happening within we have to be aware of what we are thinking why we are thinking that some meaning that we have given to it some preconditioning some ideas some beliefs that are leading to that na no? hmm right if we observe we will notice okay didi in this case uh, like when you are saying what i think so uh, like i did not think anything about it so is there a possibility like i was trying to understand like i did not think like this is not important or not it was just like i was observing and i could not feel as such any particular sensation of pain or anything but then i was then feeling sleepy i was that was the day so there was not i was not thinking or is it that i did not notice that those thoughts yeah there is some thought definitely even this thing that you know uh even the thought that i am not thinking that is also a thought in fact ha, that came now only that time i did not <laughs> think that <laughs> no so try to observe keep it open lot of times you know many subtle thoughts are there uh uh-huh. there is not a whole lot of conflict in the thoughts but they mm-hmm. are there mm-hmm. i may not notice them that is also see what i give importance to now mm-hmm. happiness is important for me so whenever i have thoughts which are contradictory or thoughts which are in conflict i feel disturbed i feel unhappy isn't it right so i pay attention to that hmm. when i start paying attention of course when i am not paying attention i don't pay attention to any of this and i think it is the outside world which is responsible for all my miseries 
but when i am starting to explore and i am trying to pay attention to the thoughts now first and foremost my attention goes to those thoughts which are very worrisome which are leading to lot of conflict contradiction because it disturbs me and i don't want that disturbance so it is important for me so i notice those thoughts mm mm-hmm. mhm but then there are many other thoughts which are not conflicting which are making me feel comfortable mm so now i don't think that it is significant to watch these so i don't pay attention i don't see them at all right yeah so that is yeah. also possible so okay. keep it all open yeah. okay uh many things are uh, happening uh, in and around and we are seeing that uh, many a times we try to ignore it we don't want to pay the attention towards it but when a long time when we find it we feel guilty of it so what shall we do in that condition shall what do you mean can you give an example uh uh just for an example if something has happened on the road or in the class and we have ignored in with the students but when the things comes in the right way means the student has gained something out of it we feel very guilty that we have not supported the student on that condition yeah so you know guilt is also a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to us let us observe that also that we missed in this case we could have done this but we missed it doesn't matter that is how much my competence was at that time now if i feel my competence is growing for next time i can be aware i can make a difference isn't it uh, so we should learn a lesson that we should uh, be means a uh, little bit judgmental on the situation also that no just... no 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 we are not being judgmental we are just observing see when you become judgmental you are going to label it this is bad this is wrong all this you don't need that because when do you when do you like to do things for others when you are motivated or when you are feeling low motivated yeah so if you are if you are telling yourself you know you are beating down yourself and having all this guilt and saying i did the wrong thing and all this judgment you are passing on yourself you are going to feel very low and with that you know already you have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable you are unhappy yes. now you won't be able to help the other yes when you have the right feeling then you can certainly do whatever it takes to help the other okay ma'am yes ma'am yeah. yeah thank you so observe that also that this missed got missed but okay next time i'll try to be aware that's it this um assignment part the third part we already did the first two parts i'll write it in the group it is about interaction with other members other people and um, physiochemical changes outside those sensations when i read the process that i go through i'll put it on the group and we'll do that all day today and tomorrow we'll take our observations